Guess what, guys? We're talking about keto approved alcohol drinks because this girl is hosting an ugly sweater party. So I've got to be ready with my keto approved beverages, and I'm going to take you along with me on all of my favorites. So keep watching. So the first beverage we're going to talk about is a cocktail. So when it comes to keto, there are lots of approved hard alcohols that you can choose from. Tequila, gin, whiskey, scotch, vodka, um, cognac, I think too. Like all of them are keto friendly. They're zero carb um, and they're great with mixers. They have a lot of sugar-free mixers out there. Some people just like to use diet soda, which is fine if you want to go that route. If you want to go with a route that's more like sweetened with something natural like Stevia, you can do any of like the Zevia sodas or Zevia came out with their own line of mixers too. Like this is a tonic water, so you can make a gin and tonic. So good because Regular tonic water has sugar in it, so don't do that. Stick with these. These are really good to have with gin, especially this is my favorite gin. Um, so do something like that instead. They have a whole line of different mixers that you can use. You can even make a Moscow Mule too, I believe. I don't really know what's in that. They're good though. I'm, I'm more of a wine girl, which you'll probably see because I always have a glass of wine with me when I'm doing Instagram videos or what have you, but... But anyway, if you're more of a hard alcohol person, there's lots of different mixers you can mix in. LaCroix has uh, some wonderful flavors to give it, like vodka and LaCroix is very popular, and I've done that before too. You can even add in some like stevia water drops into there too to make it a little bit more sweeter or more fruity flavor if you feel like just plain LaCroix or plain sparkling or seltzer water is too, too bland or dry with your vodka, then just add in some water drops and it makes it taste even better. So those are some options when it comes to the hard alcohol. I've heard that you have to be a little bit more careful when it comes to flavored vodkas or rum. Oh, and rum's okay too. You can have rum, that's fine. Um, like they might have some hidden sugars or hidden carbs, so you just kinda have to do your research and see what's okay. But any of the plain stuff is a-okay to drink on the keto diet. The next category, of course, is my favorite, the vino. And so when it comes to wine, again, you have to be careful what kinds you, you take. Generally, the sweeter wines are gonna have more carbs in them, duh, it's like sweet. What's it sweetened with? Of course, sugar. So um, stick with the drier wines if you're gonna go with if you're gonna go with a red wine like this one, stick with like a Cabernet Sauvignon or a Merlot or a Pinot Noir. Like all of those have about like three grams of carbs per glass or less. So you'll be safe with those. Stay away from the sweeter wines. Even some of the blends, because it's a blend of like sweet and dry wine, they tend to be higher in carbs. So you wanna stay away from those. For white wine, you want to stay away from the sweet ones again. So like a Riesling is going to be a lot sweeter. Stay away from that, but go with something like a Sauvignon Blanc or a Pinot Grigio, Chardonnay. Um, Chardonnays are a little bit higher. They might be like 3.5 to 4, depending on what kind you get. But the drier the white wine, the better. Definitely stay away from like white Zinfandel because it's way too sweet. Uh, red Zinfandel is, is okay. It's about, I think, 4, four grams to five grams. Um, definitely if you get like an old vine one, I think that's lower in carbs because they're a lot drier. So for sparkling wines though, um, dry champagne is a-okay. It's less than two, gram, two grams of carbs per serving. Um, some Proseccos are okay. You have to look them up though because I've made the mistake of thinking that a Prosecco was okay and when I looked it up, it was like, 40 grams of sugar. It was something ridiculous. <laughs> I had no idea. I was so sad. So you kind of have to be careful what kind you get. A rose, like a sparkling rose, as long as it says the word dry, do not get the sweet roses. They're fine too. You can definitely consume those on this diet. So for beer, I don't really drink beer anymore just because all of the low carb beers are disgusting. I mean, they taste like piss, like they're not good. I mean, they're just, those are the kind of beers you drink in college when you're just really trying to get trashed. 
Like they're not good. You're not drinking it for, for flavor, for fun. You're drinking it with one goal in mind and that's to get drunk. So I, yeah, that's not me anymore. So I tend to stay clear from those. But if you love beer and you want to have beer on this way of life, you still can, but you have to drink the low carb ones. And definitely these aren't gluten free. So if you're trying to stay away from gluten, then don't have beer because most beer has gluten in it. So if you are looking to have a beer, I would go with the Bud, the Budweiser has a Bud Select 55 that has like a carb and a half in it per bottle. I believe it's per bottle. And then the Rolling Rock Glean, bleh, Rolling Rock Green Light Beer is, is good too. It's about two grams of carbs. And then Michelob Ultra, which is, ugh, that's what I always drink in college. So gross now, that makes me wanna vomit. But it's like about 2.4 grams per bottle. So you could go with something like that. So it's up to you. I mean, I would not waste my carbs on beer. I think it's at least that beer. I mean, if you're going to have a beer, have a beer, um, but yeah, not that beer, but you do you. That's, that's you. If you love it, then you do it. I'm going to stick with my wine over here. Let me know what your guys' favorite drinks are in the comments below. I want to hear if you guys have any good tips or good recipes on some wonderful keto cocktails, or if you have like a great beer that you like that maybe I should be aware of and let me know too, or a wonderful wine that you want to partake in. Um, then let me know that as well too. So I hope you guys are gonna have a wonderful holiday season. Also let me know if you guys are gonna have an ugly sweater party that you're going to too, cause those are fun. Have a good one guys.